Hey guys, Risqué here and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Um, so last we left off, we were doing the stupid ass arrival mission. I'm not loving it. It won't ever seem to end. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm ready for it to be done. Was this DLC? Because it definitely feels disjointed. It feels very disjointed from the rest of the game. And I think that's why I'm not loving it. Because I know that, like, the, uh... That one, like, spooky horror mission was also DLC, but I don't know. I liked it better. Maybe because it was horror. In fact, definitely because it was horror. Where's the... There we go. Okay, and then the wall save over here. And then there was something else that it looked like I had access to. But I don't know where it went. Oh. That's this. Oh, nice! I will take it. Okay, go in here. Ah. Gotcha. Okay. Can't go that way, so I guess we're going this way. Which is fine. Wait. Something collect- oh. Nice. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm not mad at that. Oh, I'm a little scared that I got the power ammo. Power heavy ammo. Heavy power ammo. Ignore me. In danger, hold R1 to raise the power wheel. Unleashing powers on your enemies could save your life. This is very true. Oh god, okay. Oh. <laughs> Why? Have I not fought enough? I can, I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm done with you. Fuck you guys. That's gonna hurt. Okay, it wasn't that bad. Like, I don't need four guys shooting me at once. Like, come on, man. Like, if I had, uh, my, like, a couple teammates with me, it wouldn't be as bad, but all alone here. Like, I need them to pick up some of the slack. Oh, oh my god, how many of them are there? I'm trying. Okay. You know what? We're bringing out the particle beam. They gave me the ammo for a reason. I'm not, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm over it. Because again, like, if I had my teammates, it wouldn't be as big of a deal, but I don't. They made me do this alone. So it's just like, now I'm almost dying every five seconds. Yeah, I, this, this mission can't be over fast enough. <laughs> Which, honestly, it's really a shame, because I've actually loved this game so far. And I still do. It's just this mission sucks ass. Of course, of all times, reload. Shepard picks the worst of them. Okay, die already! Thank you. God damn. I do understand why they did the thermal clips, though, instead of, like, actual ah. ammo. But I understand why they did the thermal clips instead of the actual ammo, because that probably would have been a nightmare to have to try to get ammo for different guns and all that. Am I? I am not going the right way. They're not making it very clear where I'm supposed to go. Wait. Where the hell is the comms tower? Oh. External comm channel open. Shepard to Normandy. Joker, do you read me? Shepard, you have become an annoyance. You fight against inevitability, dust struggling against cosmic winds. This seems a victory to you, a star system sacrificed. But even now, your greatest civilizations are doomed to fall. Your leaders will beg to be harvested. 
Yes, people will die. Maybe we'll lose half the galaxy. Maybe more. But I'll do whatever it takes to rid the galaxy of the Reaper threat. However insignificant we might be, we will fight, we will sacrifice, and we will find a way. That's what humans do. Know this as you die in vain. Your time will come. Your species will fall. Prepare yourselves for the arrival. Commander Shepard, Normandy inbound for pickup. Roger that. Shit. That was pretty epic, I can't lie. And terrifying. <laughs> Just the thought, oof. Cause I mean, that's a lot of energy and that has to go somewhere. Up, oh, powers cause damage, something or other. Hack it, we need to talk. Huh, looks like you've recovered. Admiral Hackett. Sounds like you went through hell down there. How are you feeling? Fine. No more visions, if that's what you mean. I wasn't expecting to see you here. You went out there as a favor to me. I decided to debrief you in person. That was before the mass relay exploded and destroyed an entire Batariot system. What the hell happened out there, Commander? Have you received any intel about what happened? All I know is I sent you out there to break Amanda Kenson out of prison. And now an entire system is destroyed. I hope you could fill in the leap of logic between those two events. Kenson said the Reapers were the galaxy's salvation. Then she captured and sedated me, and held me against my will. She wasn't willing to stop the invasion. So I did what had to be done. Sounds like Amanda was indoctrinated. Well, that's a damn shame. And you believe the Reaper invasion really was a threat? No doubt about it. We literally had minutes to spare. I'm sure all the details are in your report. I won't lie to you, Shepard. The Batarians will want blood, and there's just enough evidence for a witch hunt. And we don't want war with the Batarians. Not with the Collectors out there taking our colonists. What are you saying? You did what you did for the best of reasons, but... There were more than 300,000 Batarians in that system. All dead. Any sacrifice is worth stopping a Reaper invasion. I happen to agree with you. I'm sorry those Batarians lost their lives, but someone has to make the difficult decisions that get people killed. Unfortunately, not everyone will see it that way. So what do you suggest? Evidence against you is shoddy at best. But at some point, you'll have to go to Earth and face the music. I can't stop it, but I can and will make them fight for it. I didn't expect to see you aboard a Cerberus vessel. I don't like Cerberus or the way they do things. But they brought you back to life, and they're actually doing something about the state of the galaxy. So for now, 
I can be friendly. Is the Alliance concerned about the Batarians' response to this incident? Very. The Batarians have been looking for an excuse to wage war on us since we showed up in the galaxy. If the Reapers invade, we need the galaxy to work together. If we're at war with the Batarians, the other races will be hesitant to give aid to either side. What's the Alliance doing about the Collectors? We're setting fleets around our major colonies and evacuating our smaller ones. But the ships that encounter the Collectors haven't reported back. We're outmatched. I'm really hoping you and Cerberus have an ace up your sleeve. I stop a Reaper invasion and they want to put me up on charges? It's not a matter of preference, Shepard. You'll be a convenient scapegoat for avoiding open war. Do whatever you have to do out here. But when Earth calls, you make sure you're there with your dress blues on, ready to take the hit. In the meantime, you keep this. I don't need to see a report to know you did the right thing. Yes, sir. You've done a hell of a thing, Commander. Those fuckers should be kissing the ground I walk on. Fuck the Alliance. Okay, well we leveled up. So good deal on that. Mission summary. This mission sucked ass. <laughs> Dr. Amanda Kinson was rescued from a Batarian prison on the planet Aratod. Aratod. And Shepard confirmed her proof of a Reaper invasion. Shepard was captured by Kinson, who had been indoctrinated by a Reaper artifact. Shepard escaped and activated the project, destroying the Alpha Relay and ending the Reaper invasion. Dr. Kinson did not survive box system and all its inhabitants were destroyed. So I got some heavy weapon ammo upgrade, I got mini gel capacity upgrade, uh, I got a heavy skin weave, got some credits, got some element zero, got some palladium, got some iridium. I'm happy. I don't even know what to do next. I'm like, should I do a loyalty mission? Because I know I still have Garrus and Tally. I need to do their loyalty missions. Which I just recently learned that the voice of Garrus is the voice of uh, Jesus in season three of The Walking Dead, the video game, Telltale. Commander, you received a new message. Yeah, I figured. Which like blew my mind, because in case you only watch my Mass Effect playthroughs, I did. I, I well, when this comes out, it might be done. But anyway, I finished the um, whole series, so go check that out. Project Firewalker, good work on recovering the Hammerhead and One Piece Commander. It will prove useful. Also, the data you recovered from the MSV Rosalie's emergency beacon contains significant intel on a few planets that Dr. Case and Dr. Oloy investigated. Edie has added the locations to your galaxy map. We hope that one of them leads to you to the Protheum site. Despite Dr. Case's obvious instability, he's proven to be a brilliant and dedicated scientist. If you salvage more of his logs of, or journals, it will greatly help our efforts. We still don't know how the Gether tracking Dr. Case, so be careful. Okay, can do. Uh, let's go ahead and go check for some upgrades, shall we? Okay. So, I got some SMG shield piercing. Ooh, yeah, let's do that. Because I, I like my shotgun. I like using my shotgun. And, yeah, we'll up the submachine gun damage. Why not? Okay. Armor upgrades. So, we could do biotic damage, biotic duration. Ooh. Yeah. I want to max out our medi gel capacity. I like that. Tech cooldowns, okay. Could do that. Let's see, let's do some advanced training. Why not? And let's do an inferno grenade now that I have it. <laughs> okay, and I think that's good for now. So, let's see. No messages for you. Okay, thanks, Chambers. Let's see. Oh, that's right. We have to do the Thane one also. And then we still have to get Samara. But I'm, I'm scared to finish up getting everybody. Because I hope that doesn't automatically, like, start me to the end game. So, you know what? Since that was an assignment, even though I still have a bunch of assignments to do. Um, let's go ahead and do the Garrus. Uh, well, we can do the Garrus and the Thane loyalty missions. Because they're both at the Citadel. All right, let's go to the Citadel. Let's do this, let's roll. Oh, Mass Relay's right there, where am I going? 
Oh. Oh. We're in our galaxy. So, is there anything I can investigate? No? Probably not. That'd be dumb. Okay, to the mass relay. Um, Citadel. There we go. Y'all, we're getting, like, low on missions, which I know means we're getting close to the end and I'm not ready. Am I maxed out on my... Okay, yeah, on my probes and stuff. To the Citadel. We haven't been here since... The beginning of the game. It's been a while. I could probably skip this. I don't think it's that important <laughs> since we've been here before. Alright guys, how's life? How are things? If I already asked that. Okay, let's do... Hmm. Oh, well, Thane and Garrus, duh. They're the ones I need for this. And quite honestly, they're my favorites right now. Ooh, okay, let's up our Inferno Grenade, and you know what, let's go ahead and max out our charge. Why not? Since we can. Okay, so your biotic focus is so intense that not only does the charge flatten enemies, your reaction speed is increased, slowing the world around you as you come out of the charge. I like the sound of that. Or area charge, your mass effect field now bursts on impact, sending out energy that can damage multiple opponents and knock them off their feet. I like the sound of that too. Mm. They both have about the same recharge and range. This one's impact force is a little stronger. Yeah, this seems like the better option. Sweet! Okay, and they're both good to go for right now. I found references to a forger named Fade in CSEC crime reports, Shepard. Perhaps that is a good place to start looking. Also, according to CSEC, a drill recently passed through customs. The CSEC office may have more information. Oh, I'm gonna be on the Citadel for a while, aren't I? Can I help you, ma'am? Nope. No, thank you. Just passing through. Never mind. Next. Okay, so, where do we need to be on the Citadel? Okay, so we need to find Fade. He's in a warehouse near the Neon Markets on Zakara Ward. Okay. And then we just need to search around the Citadel for Fane's thing. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do Garrus's first. Oh. Hmm. Where in Zakara Ward? I, I missed it. Near the neon markets. Okay. Which one has the neon markets? Okay, I'm guessing level 26. Command squad members to unleash individual powers and weapons by using left and right on the D-pad. Oh, that's right. I still need to figure out what to do there. Okay, it was at the warehouse that we needed to be at? In a warehouse, okay. Yeah, it just seems that way. You just got a refund in exchange. I'm to pick up the off, you in here, Fade? I don't think you have the right place. It's a pretty cool name. Fade? You're not quite how I imagined you. Looks can be deceiving. So, which one of you wants to disappear? I'd rather see you make someone reappear. Ah, uh, that's not the service we provide. Make an exception. Just this once. Damn it! Quick! Shoot them! Shoot them, you Too slow. Why do I even bother? We need to find a client of yours. I suggest you cooperate. Wait. I'm not the one you want to talk to. 
I'm not Fade. I knew it. Well, then maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Yeah, yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue Suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting him. Harkin. What do the Blue Suns have to do with this? Did they use his services to help their people infiltrate businesses and various organizations here on the Citadel? Bastard. He's using CSEC to help those scum. Uh, no, no, no. Well, not really. He got fired from CSEC a while ago. But he still knows the systems. Interesting. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. This Harkin sounds like he could use a little talking to. Talk all you want. I'll be too busy giving his kidneys a friendly thumping. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So I, uh... I can go? Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. Oh, good. All right, let's go get a cab. I love Garrus. Look, it took me a long time to get this refund. It's a decision on me. Are you sure you're being straight with me? Okay. There's nothing you want to admit. You know where to go. Right? Is that where we're supposed to be going? To the factory, yeah. Why are you accusing me? I didn't do anything. Fire powers in an arc by aiming slightly next to your target. With practice, you can fire around corners or over cover. Yeah, I'm probably never going to learn how to do that. That's too, <laughs> that's too technically complicated for me. Um, you know what? I'll go ahead and take Jacob with me. Since he's loyal, so he has the extra powers and stuff. And then I'll switch J uh, Thane out whenever we finish Garrus' mission. Shepard? Don't just stand there! Stop them! Stop them! Run all you want, Harkin! We'll find you! Hostiles up ahead. Yeah, me and Garrus don't fuck around. Damn. <laughs> that was epic. I forgot how nice it was to have my teammates with me. that. <clears throat> so we can have nine of them now? That's pretty cool. Y'all got anything? Just, just some thermal clips? I mean, I'll take it. I'm not complaining. Oh. Yeah, I definitely prefer to mix to whoever those assholes were in the last... the last one. I didn't dig them. They were too yeah, powerful. What? JK. JK. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, this is bad. Okay, hold on. Hold on a second. That could have gone better. <laughs> I fucked up. Okay, yeah. Y'all gotta go. Perfect. Love it. He's been so cute today. And then he just likes to get loud out of nowhere. And I'm like, shut up. Shut up. But good news. I mean, y'all might have seen. I don't know when exactly this is coming out. Um, but y'all might have seen in other videos. But I found a place to stay in LA for the first couple months. So. 
that is taken care of. It's such a relief because it's just something I've been so stressed about. So it feels good to not have to worry about that anymore. Somewhere. I can smell it. Because I mean, that was really my struggle for so long. It was like, okay, I leave on the 31st, but where the fuck am I going? <laughs> Like, I need to give people a forwarding address, I need to change my ad, like, do a change of address card, and all of that, so, that is the nice thing. It's a little pricier than I would like, but it's a really nice room, I'm excited. Um, I'm doing an Airbnb, and I would have preferred to, like, have the whole place to myself, but the private room was just so much cheaper and definitely doable. So I was like, okay. And it's in a house, I think, with a few other rooms that they usually rent out to people. So there's still a chance I might have a place to myself for at least a little bit, which would be great. But I already like have my, my recording set up in my head of how I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be different, but I'm, I'm so excited. But I will say, it is going to be sad not recording in this room anymore, because, I mean, this is where a majority of this channel has happened. We have a lot of memories here, y'all. Okay, Garrus, I love you, but get your ass out of my way. Literally. Nice! Oh god. See, when I got my team with me, y'all don't stand a chance. Okay, give me the power cells, give me the iridium, give me all of your shit. I want it all. Uh, Wait, laptop hack? Yes, please. Oh, shoot. Okay, uh. This. And. Ah, this. Oh, shit. I always catch it, like, too late. There we go. Okay. And then we just need... We just need this one. Come on, come on. There we go. That was close. Nice! That was definitely worth it, I'd say. Getting close. Yes, we are. We got this, Garrus. I won't let you down. Yeah, whenever I know I'm going into a room with lots of cover, I'm like, I'm just gonna go ahead and start behind the cover so I'm ready, because there is definitely a fight about to happen. But the combat is not nearly as frustrating in this, this mission, so I'm happy. Like, I can handle fighting the blue suns. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, yep. The stagger is annoying, because it takes too much time, and they can attack way too fast. So I'm like, something faster, please. Like, okay, a little stumble, that's fine, but it takes her forever to recover. But that's really, honestly, like, my only big gripe about this game. Like, I'm really loving it. Like, I think... I read somewhere that it's a fan, the fan favorite, so I definitely understand why. And I don't know really anything about Mass Effect 3 other than that the ending pissed people off. You worked with Harkin at CSEC? Yeah, he was a pain in the ass back then too, but I'm in no mood for his games. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. You seem to be getting tense, Garrus. Harkin may know why Sedonis wanted to disappear. If so, he knows why we're here, and I don't want him tipping Sedonis off. Did you see that? I saw something. He's getting ready for us. What are you going to do to Harkin if he won't cooperate? He's a real criminal now, working for the Blue Suns. I should just shoot him on sight. But I need him alive, so 
I won't do any permanent damage. Just enough to loosen his tongue. Whatever it takes. Exactly. I knew you'd understand. What do you think Harkin's got waiting for us in there? Not sure. It looks like an industrial complex. Heavy machinery. Could be anything. Something's in there. Probably more blue suns. Harkin's kind of trapped himself in a corner. He must have something in store for us. You still planning to kill Sedonis when we find him? That's the plan. It'll be quick and painless. Unlike everyone he betrayed, he'll be spared the agony of a slow death. It's more than he deserves, but as long as he's dead, I'll be satisfied. I got no problem with that. Somehow I didn't think you would. We won't catch him waiting here. Right behind you. All right, on that note, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends, hit the bell so you don't miss an upload, and I'll see you guys next time.